Welcome to Kenworth Connects. Today, we're going to learn about the brand new Kenworth Digital Mirror System. I'm joined by Meredith, our resident engineering expert on the system. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. Now, you've spent a lot of time with the system and it's now available on any T680. You have a few tips you wanted to share with any new drivers before they hop in the truck. Can you walk me through those? Sure, let's take a look at the system. First thing to know is how to control the system. Make sure the toggle on your door control module is set to camera mode. You'll notice that the driver's monitor has a green outline now. That means you have that monitor selected. If you see a red outline, use the left and right toggle on your door control module to switch sides. In most cases, upon starting the truck, you will be prompted to confirm your trailer end line. If your overall length has not changed, then you can press this button to dismiss the warning. If your overall length has changed, then you'll want to select Adjust to change the location of your trailer end line. This will take you into set trailer end line mode, which can be also accessed through the menu. All right, so I don't know what trailer was hooked up on this last time, so how do I go ahead and set the trailer end line? First, grab an object like a cone or triangle and place it in line with the rear of the trailer. Next, use the up and down arrows to move the line to the base of the cone. Press the center button to set the trailer end line location. Okay, so now I see there's three lines on the monitor. So what do these mean? The first one is your trailer end line. The other two are your distance lines, which represent approximately 40 feet and 80 feet behind the trailer end line. If you put the truck into reverse, the lines shorten up to approximately 10 and 20 feet. Okay, so that'll help me gauge how far away a vehicle behind me might be if I want to change lanes. Are there any other tips you wanted to share with our viewers? Don't forget that there are different views for you to choose from. Check each of them out and decide which one is right for you and the conditions you're driving in. There is traditional and panoramic on the driver's side, and a third view expanded on the passenger side. Wow, I can even see our sound person outside. Meredith, thanks so much for joining me today and talking about the digital mirror system. And thank you everyone for watching. And until next time, let's stay connected.